Hey you, do you want to have maxed out badges or a high overall on NBA 2K19? If so, then make sure to hit up my boy Legit Grinders on Twitter and tell him that your boy Gino sent you so you can get 10% off your purchase. You know, all I want is for 2K to punish bad shot selection like that. And then, you know, reward good shot selection like that. That's simple, man. So I hopped on Twitter last night and I actually saw that Mike Wang said that there is a shot contest buff coming tomorrow morning. Let me know. So that was last night. So when I woke up today, man, I decided to hop on the game and see if uh, he really did make a change or not. Honestly speaking, guys, I didn't really care too much about the shot contest system as much as I did about other archetypes that aren't playmakers. Like being able to dribble the ball and not lose it, not get ripped, and just create their own shot. Because if it wasn't for that, see some people actually mention that. There's some people on Twitter and on YouTube that are talking about it and that's actually a really good point. If stretch bigs weren't able to just left right behind screens and bring up the ball down the court on threes, then it wouldn't really be a big deal because they wouldn't be able to play the one. They wouldn't be able to run the point guard on twos and they wouldn't be able to run the one on threes. You feel me guys? If they weren't able to be a ball handler and they were just able to shoot, then I wouldn't really care that they can shoot over people, if that makes sense. So that's one thing I want to touch on guys. From playing some games today, I played like six games at the park and honestly, I did notice that the stupider shots, especially like when, when bad players pull up with like a cheesy lineup, like a stretch and a glass and they're just chucking shots and they're going in. I actually noticed that worst shot selection wasn't going in as much, to be honest. But then if if it was like a good stretch, they could still make some shit fall. So it might affect the worst players in the game. I'm not entirely sure. In the six games I've played, I've, I did notice that less dumb shots were going in. But like I said, man, I feel like that's not really the issue. And, you know, I made my 99 overall playmaking shot creator six foot four for a reason. To have 90 ball control. And you have no idea how often I get ripped, even when I'm not doing any dumb dribbling. I'm even just trying to get away from the defender and I just get ripped so often. Even in takeover mode with 90 plus ball control without takeover mode, in takeover mode I have 99 ball control or more, whatever it is. If they just figured out a way to make it so stretch bigs can't be the point guard on a team, then I feel like it wouldn't even be that bad. I wouldn't really care about the shot contest system because I wouldn't be the one who's guarding him. Unless it's like a switch or something. But anyways guys, I'm gonna keep this video super short and just give you my conclusion. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. I do like the patch in general. I feel like it's a step in the right direction, but it's not the main issue at hand. I do like it in the sense that more bad shots are not going in as much, but that's also gonna affect every archetype, not just the archetypes that are exploiting the contest system the most. But I feel like it's, it's not really gonna fix things entirely. It might actually make things more frustrating for guards when they are playing two centers that know what they're doing and they're not gonna be taking dumb shots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, nice and short as I said. If you guys have tried out the new patch, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think that this helps? Did you guys notice any difference? Tell me what you noticed from this patch. I'm actually curious. And drop a like on this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel with post notifications on if you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hashtag Gino Gang in the comment section, man.